Hi all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have a product review. I saw this particular product uh, in the various Facebook groups and I was really intrigued by it and so I ordered one. This is not a paid um, uh, product review. I bought this myself uh, just because I thought it looked like something that might help me in my painting. So I've ordered this from Erin Ridley of Expressly For You. Uh, she has an Etsy shop and I'll link that in the description below. So please uh, click on the show more button and you'll find the link to her shop. And this is an artist wrist rest. And um, I thought I'd do a product review sort of from start to finish. So I first thing I do is always look at how the package um, comes to me. In this case, it's um, extremely well wrapped. Um, it's got a brown paper wrapping. It weighed about 10.6 ounces and um, came then with a cardboard um, insert, um, which I'll just take off here, and then some various other uh, wrapping uh, on the inside, including a little bit of bubble wrap. And I look for that because I, I don't want to receive a damaged product. There's nothing more disappointing than opening a package and finding something that's damaged. So here I'm just going to cut off the last bit of this and let's take a look at this wrist rest. So it's a plain piece of wood. It's meant for you to wrist, uh, rest your wrist on while you're painting. It's um, really beautifully made. Um, and it's very, very smooth. So though uh, I've seen some artists who have actually dotted theirs, Erin um, has dotted hers as well, I would not uh, dot mine. I would actually leave mine plain or paint it black just because if I use it in a video, I don't want to distract from it. But it would be really fun to paint this so you'd have another little piece of art um, in your studio. So it's 13.5 inches, and it's about... Um, just a little over one and a half inches tall, so it's a really good height. Uh, let's see how this works. I have a uh, 9 by 12 canvas, and I'm just going to slip it through and see how easily it goes through. And you can see it's got a nice clearance there, so it'll fit my canvas well. And then the way to use this is to place it over your canvas, rest your wrist on it, and then I'm just here sort of simulating how I might dot with it just so I can see how it feels. And it feels really, really good. It's very comfortable. It's a nice height. So I think that um, this is something that would help me. Here I'm going to try a silicone brush just to see how that would work. It doesn't impede my movement or my flow of paint. It will keep my hands out of the paint, which is another plus. I can change the canvas around uh, any way I want, or the wrist, uh, the bridge actually, uh, any way I want to make it more comfortable for me to paint on. So I can angle it if I want to. I'm just trying out some different angles here and see how that works. I can orient my canvas differently. I want to move this out of the way for just a moment and show you how I would normally uh, support my wrist as I painted, just with my hand as you saw there. So this uh, wrist rest is providing the same support. Um, as if I were using my hand, and um, I'm finding it uh, very, very comfortable. It's a really good height, and you can see I can change the orientation of it. I can angle it and just get some different um, uh, placement of the bridge um, around my canvas to help me paint. I move my canvas around a lot as I paint anyway, so it's nice to have a tool that will move around as well. So I mentioned that this is, um, it's, it's really well made, it's so smooth, I really enjoy the, um, the bridge. I think it's a really good, good aid for painting, so I'm really happy that I came across it, and I hope that uh, you will check it out if you're interested or need some kind of support for your hand, um, even if it's just to keep your hands out of the paint. Um, that is something that I um, appreciate as well. Uh, so you can check the link out below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more product reviews, and I'll uh, work to bring those to you if you give me a little detail as to what you're looking for. So here's kind of the final look at this, um, how this works. It's very sturdy. It's glued and nailed, so I don't see it falling apart. I think it's really going to last me a long time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me in my studio. I hope you enjoyed this product review. Take care.